from John's Custom Saws. I'm going to show you how you send it real easy. Three-step process. Open the bottle, hit the switch, and... Nothing to it. Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, oh, really? Okay, good. How, how am I doing? Not so good. Thanks for asking. Uh, yeah, if I look a little beat up, dirty, worn out, pissed off, mascara running, uh, it's because I just got my ass handed to me by the nitrous. Uh, so first, let's put the bottle in the freezer. It's always empty. People are like, you should get a smaller bottle so it's like lightweight and you know out of the way it's like why that one's always empty why would i want a smaller one uh no beer in the fridge not here at john's custom sauce i'm actually uh i'm allergic to alcohol uh every time i drink i break out in handcuffs so if i don't drink there's the nitrous saw hey buddy how you doing uh we're not talking right now so yeah the nitrous saw as you can see i got some really awesome stuff going on there it's all dyed blacked out i think the cool kids call it Expansion chamber, some really cool NOS stickers, uh, made a race spelling dog, tilts and carb off of a 100 plus cc concrete saw, just new top end, I rebuilt it, just, it, I mean, the best of the best. And I wanted to get some awesome videos for you guys, and this happened. <laughs> So yeah, that happened. Um, so I've made a few changes as well as the expansion chamber, you know, new top end, more aggressive porting yet even. I have a different nozzle, so I'm getting a, a better continuous flow of nitrous without having to, you know, the bottle's in the freezer, I'm filling it, but I used to have to shut the valve on the bottle to, to regulate the amount of nitrous coming out. And now I have a nozzle that, it goes right here in the solenoid that limits the amount of nitrous and that works way better obviously expansion chamber and i have a different fogger in here that just it's a 90 degree so it's not way out here shooting it in um it's it's all in all it works really good but what happened as you can see it it ripped that sawhorse out of the ground uh i've never had anything do that and i've ran some pretty crazy saws that was that was staked into the ground also and it's you know end of november here in minnesota the ground's pretty much frozen um but it snapped this this is the anti-vibe mount. I've never seen one of these break. It goes right here. Um, goes right here. Basically an anti-vibe from the tank, a fuel tank to the crankcase. It busted it. And that's, the saw was flexing a lot. And uh, I've never, like I said, I've never seen one of these break. But it allowed it to flex enough. It snapped in half. That rubber piece is the only thing that's holding it together. But it ripped the, there's a line, it's called your impulse hose. It goes from the, the carburetor basically to the, the crankcase and uses the, the crankcase pressure to run the you know, fuel pump basically in the carburetor. And when that snapped, it had enough flex and given it that it ripped the impulse line off. So then it ran like shit after I couldn't figure it out. I was like, what the hell is going on? And also ripped a, a wire out for uh, the wiring for the, the solenoid and the battery and all that. So all in all, got my ass kicked. Uh, got a new antivibe mount in it. I have a, a ton of part saws. I have an attic full of part saws. So it's not like I go out and buy all these parts. I just, you know, grab a new one um, or a used one, I should say. But this gives me a lot of hope and a lot of thinking to do because I'm, I'm shearing flywheel keyways uh, clutches are going out and now antivibe mounts 
the more torque you get with one of these race saws, I guess you could call this thing pretty much at this point is a race saw. It's a really strong saw without the nitrous. Um, here's a couple of cuts with no NOS in the hardest wood that I've ever, I've ever had. <laughs> Yeah, so there you go. It's a pretty strong saw, just, you know, ported and machined and all that good stuff. And uh, it was set kind of rich, too, so it would have even more than that. Um, that I want to say that that test log is locust or something. That stuff is so hard. I just, I, it's insane. Um, the expansion chambers, so I might be actually selling those things. I can get a, I have a connection for them, and the one that's on it is was used and for a different model so i had to modify it do some welding on it so if you see some subpar welds on it that was uh yours truly uh i hate to admit it but you know not a great welder i'm a pretty great grinder though actually it turns out so yeah all the porting finally pays off but uh i'm really happy with the expansion chamber that that cr80 dirt bike pipe that thing didn't work very good so I knew I wanted to try something else out. These are actually for, you know, saws. And apparently you want a longer, skinnier expansion chamber. That one off that dirt bike was, it had a big curve to it. It looked like a, a kidney bean or something, you know. It just didn't work that well. And uh, this one works really good. So I'm really happy with the performance. I just got to straighten out the, you know, the mounts and all that. Because you get to a point where now I'm, I'm blowing clutches and shearing flywheel keyways and, you know, busting antivibe mounts. So I got to try to just beef this thing up a little bit so I can actually put all that power to the to the wood. Um, it's like building a crazy car and you just, you know, I had a pretty crazy car back in the day and all it did was eat rear ends. It just <laughs> eat rear ends. That sounds bad. But it would, every time you'd rod on it, it, it rear end, it guts would be, you know, all over the highway. And it was fun, but it sure wasn't fun being, you know, having downtime. And that's what I don't like. I I love a good powerful saw, but I don't like when you go use it every damn time and something breaks. That's like a 395 Husky I got. Love that saw, but every time I use it, it's it's ported. It's like so it's a ridiculous saw. Every time I use it, something breaks, and it's like that's no fun. So, and I know this saw with nitrous and everything is going to be fussy, but that was the whole goal of this thing is to make it somewhat reliable, and it's. The cylinders are doing great, you know. I replaced the cylinder because I wanted to, not because it was shot. It, it was in really good condition yet. I could put it back on if I wanted to, but I had a new one. Been sitting around teasing me, so I put the thing in. And, uh, yeah, there it is. I hope to have the little issues worked out. And you guys will see some pretty crazy videos. So check out Guilty of Treason's video. That was the nitrous saw. He just posted a video uh, of the nitrous saw back when he was out here he stayed out here for a couple days and on his road trip and did some filming and it was pretty fun we had a really good time and maybe he'll come back if i didn't scare him off too bad so all right guys just wanted to give an update and uh now i'm gonna go cry myself to sleep because i'm a i'm a mess after today guys all right see ya